The price of oil has been edging back up lately, and with it, talk of alternative energy sources and saving the planet. But in the end, the planet may save us. Dig deep enough, even in the coldest places on Earth, and you'll find an unlimited source of heat. And that means opportunity. More now from our chief environmental affairs correspondent, Ann Thompson. On the snow-swept shore of a New York Finger Lake, Rich Moravik's crew drills for heat. The temperature hovers near freezing above ground, but far beneath the surface, some 200 feet down, the earth is an average 55 degrees. The source for a geothermal heating and cooling system that produces dramatically fewer carbon dioxide emissions and much lower energy bills. 30 to 70 percent savings. Instead of burning oil or natural gas, a geothermal system uses the constant temperature of the earth to heat and cool your home. In a geothermal system, the earth is your power plant, heating or cooling a water mixture similar to the antifreeze in your car by moving it through pipes buried underground. The water mixture then travels to a heat pump in your house. It's using electricity to transfer and concentrate the energy from the ground into the house. Flip a switch, the process reverses, and you get air conditioning. Joe Fantasia put geothermal in his new 3,500-square-foot home, twice the size of his old house. We had a utility bill at about $250. $250. Uh, $250. The utility bill here for almost twice the space is about $140 a month. The initial price can run around $15,000, and now there's a 30% federal tax credit to lower costs. Demand for these systems is growing. Nationally, shipments of geothermal systems nearly tripled between 2003 and 2008, heating the homes of 3 million Americans. And in upstate New York, Moravik's office, a hotel, even a city hall. Brian Hayden runs a company training installers. In the first six months, we had four seminars. Uh, we weren't able to do one a month, and now we're doing one or two a week. So this is a technique that Lessons that can help small businesses survive and homeowners save money and the earth. Ann Thompson, NBC News, Jordan, New York.